Welcome back to the data representation topic of our computer systems unit. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how the computer stores and represents text. We will look at extended ASCII and we will look at Unicode. As always, we have some learning intentions for our lesson. You can see these on the screen now. Again, we have some success criteria. You should use this as a tool to assess your progress throughout the lesson. To start the lesson, let's do a recap on extended ASCII. This is a common format for representing text. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Extended ASCII allocates each character a unique 8-bit binary number. Extended ASCII can represent a total of 256 characters, 2 to the power of 8. As we learned before, the first 32 8-bit binary numbers are allocated to control characters such as the spacebar or the enter key. The remaining numbers are allocated to printable characters, such as A to Z, 0 to 9, brackets, punctuation marks, etc. One of the main issues with extended ASCII is that it only allows us to represent 256 characters. This is inf insufficient to represent multiple languages from across the world. An alternative method is to use Unicode. Unicode uses 16 bits for each character. This allows us to represent 65,536 characters. As mentioned in the last slide, Unicode uses 16 bits to represent each character. Therefore, this requires more storage space and memory to represent the character set compared with the extended ASCII. Actually double. The first 256 values in Unicode are the exact same as the characters represented in extended ASCII. This makes it easy to convert between extended ASCII and Unicode. Let's briefly recap and compare Unicode to extended ASCII. Unicode has the ability to represent an increased number of characters. This will increase the file size as it will take double the amount of storage for each character. Let's look at an example using extended ASCII. We will calculate the storage of the word graphics. It has eight characters. In extended ASCII, that would mean eight bits per character. Eight times eight would give us 64 bits. If we divide that by eight to convert to bytes, we then have eight bytes. Let's look at the same example using Unicode. Again, we'll calculate the storage requirements of the word graphics. It has eight characters, and in Unicode, that would mean 16 bits per character. That would give us eight times 16, and being 126 bits. If we divide that by eight to convert it to bytes, would give us 16 bytes double the amount of storage of extended ASCII. Thanks for listening and make sure you subscribe to our faculty YouTube channel. Hit the notifications button for the most up-to-date content.